game one of the Memorial Cup. You guys are uh, ready to go. You've been here for a couple of days. What's the outlook uh, against Saginaw tonight? Yeah, it's uh, it's exciting. We're uh, we're going to embrace the challenge and uh, playing the host team. It's uh, we know it's going to be a good atmosphere. You've seen good atmospheres throughout the playoffs. You guys seem to thrive in it, whether you're at home or on the road. What's the key in that area? Yeah, I think uh, just be excited and be ready to go every time uh, your leg goes over the boards. And uh, I mean, uh, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's a hockey game. We have played a thousand of these, and uh, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. You've had some time to prep. What have you learned about the Saginaw Spirit? Yeah, they're uh, they're a fast team. Uh, we're gonna be, have to be good with our uh, details away, and uh, when we don't have the puck. And uh, at the end of the day, we're just looking to play our game and uh, put a breast foot forward. Played a lot of pressure hockey with all the overtime games. Now you come into a you know single game, one game at a time tournament. How much can that help you guys in having that experience? Yeah, I think uh, all playoffs we uh, just took it one game at a time, and uh, I think that's uh, exactly our mindset coming into this tournament. And uh, it's exciting and uh, play new teams that you haven't played. So uh, yeah, just take it one game at a time and one day at a time. You mentioned it there, but how exciting is it to play different teams? You start here at you know Saginaw, Moose Jaw first ever game Memorial Cup, Saginaw first ever game Memorial Cup. Just how exciting is that? Yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be. Fun. I think uh, we obviously some guys know a few guys from other teams and uh, I mean we, we don't see these teams so uh, yeah it's uh, it's different compared to the teams we play uh, all year round and obviously a seven game series but uh, just playing one game uh, one game at a time and uh, yeah just uh, just embracing every moment. You grew up in Moose Jaw so I mean you know what this moment is like for your city. Can you describe what all of this has been like, seeing the support, the fans lining the streets and the send-offs? Yeah, I think uh, we got the best fans in the league. And um, I mean, uh, I've grown up there, so uh, it's cool. And uh, I mean, I, I've, I've seen the Warrior teams in the past uh, and the fan support, and uh, we love that and uh, we love our fans. So when you were a kid, who maybe were some of your idols, guys you looked up to on the Warriors? Yeah, uh, I grew up watching uh, Cody Beach, Dylan McElrath, guys like that in the Crush Can, and then uh, obviously moving over to the Event Center, uh, it was Braden Point, Brett Houghton. There's a bunch of great players that uh, I used to love watching. For people who are not from Moose Jaw or even from Saskatchewan, the Crushed Can, you have to describe what the Crushed Can was. Yeah, it, uh, it literally looked like a Crush Can. It, uh, the ceiling was hanging down, and uh, I mean, uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a wild atmosphere, and um, yeah, I can recall many games going there, and, um, and the fans are right on top of you, and uh, yeah, it was a great rink. Did you get to play in it as a youngster? Yeah, as a youngster, yeah, I used to uh, go out there for uh, Timbits and uh, minor hockey practices, and uh, I mean, anytime you can skate on the the Western League rink as a kid, you were you were pumped. So take us to the moment when you clinched. The championship in the Western Hockey League for the first time for Moose Jaw. Where were you on the bench or on the ice or what was happening? Yeah, I was on the bench. I think uh, you know you never really you never really know till it's over. But uh, yeah, there was about 10 seconds left. We iced the puck and uh, we were up by two. So uh, that uh, that was kind of the moment that it all kind of sunk in for for all of us. I mean, uh, we grew up together, go through. Uh, going through lots of lots of hard times together, but uh, that uh, you can't replicate that feeling. How big was the noise? Yeah, it, uh, it felt like the uh, roof was going to blow off the building. So, uh, yeah, we uh, we love to do it for each other, but uh, we also love to do it for our fans, too. Might have pushed that middle of the crushed can up if it had stayed there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, thanks. Yeah.